On May 25th in Quito, Ecuador, hundreds of protesters hit the streets in rejection of government-proposed neoliberal economic measures which call for fund cuts in education and health, shutting down of public companies, as well as layoffs and flexibilization of contracts and posts. People were also protesting against the mismanagement of the pandemic by President Lenin Moreno. Hoy nos hemos unido, jóvenes, maestros, trabajadores despedidos, comerciantes minoristas, para decirle al gobierno que no estamos de acuerdo con el paquetazo neoliberal, para defender la vida, para reclamar contra el recorte presupuestario en educación, en salud, para decir que no estamos de acuerdo que a los maestros, los trabajadores públicos se les rebajen los salarios. Estamos aquí para defender la vida de todos los ecuatorianos. Protesters have raised the slogan, Criminal Government, October Will Return, referring to the 2019 October protests against austerity measures adopted by Lenin Moreno, including the cancellation of fuel subsidies. The October uprising was the largest in Ecuador's recent history, and it gave momentum to a series of similar anti-neoliberal protests across the continent, in Chile and Colombia. The intense protests that went on for two weeks were finally called off when Moreno signed a deal with indigenous leaders promising to cancel the austerity measures. The Central Workers' Organization, CUT, one of the key organizers of Monday's protest, declared that the demonstrators will remain in constant mobilization until their demands are met. Lenin Moreno, on May 19th, had announced a new package of neoliberal economic reforms. The reforms are aligned with the recommendations made by the International Monetary Fund in 2019 to guarantee the payment of Ecuador's external debt. They include a reduction of $940 million in wages for public workers and a decrease of $1.3 billion in public investment. Ten public companies, including railways, postal services, airlines, and public media, will be shut down according to the new reforms. Public employees will be paid less and working hours are expected to be reduced to six hours. These measures were announced a day after the Moreno administration failed to get the approval of the National Assembly on a regulation that would have allowed it to collect contributions from workers to solve the fiscal deficit. The new reforms are expected to reduce the salary of public sector employees by 25%, according to local media reports. Amid all this, as of the evening of May 26th, there are around 37,500 positive cases of COVID-19, with more than 3,200 deaths. In the hard-hit city of Guayaquil, bodies were dumped on the streets because of lack of funeral services. Meanwhile, trade union groups and social movements have vowed to stop the Moreno government's plan of implementing neoliberal reforms. Yeah,